Welcome to my series for Wix Editor Basics. Uh, this video will talk about how to add or change images in your site. So to start with here, we have a strip that has two columns. One column has the text and one column has the image. This is the background image for this whole column. If you just wanted an image that was on the strip, but not the whole um, column, then you would change your background to just a color. And then you would add an image. You could choose from an image. We can choose from my uploads. So if you've uploaded images for your site, you can go there. Uh, I don't have any here. So I would upload them from my computer right here. And once they, I have images here, you could click on one and then you'd be able to add that to the page right down here. I'm going to instead choose media from Wix and a uh, house. Just check for a picture of a house. We'll take that one. And I could choose this picture. Say I wanted it to be a vertical picture instead of horizontal. I can change that. I can crop it right here. And right within the editor, I can crop it down to a different size, apply. And now it's a vertical image instead. If I decide I do want, I'm going to delete this um, with my delete key, or you can click on the trash button. If I want it for the background, the whole column background, then you want to change the column background and add an image. And again, house. I'll choose that picture again. And there you go. Another thing you can do is you can change it to say black and white or uh, so filters, you can change the brightness, you can choose a filter if you want it to look a little different, black and white. I'll choose it black and white. And that changes the image to black and white. Now, the other thing you want, any kind of image that you have, whether it's just on your page or if it's in within columns, you can go to settings. If you wanted this to be a light opacity and then you add text over it or something, this is where you would do that. You can change the color behind the image. If you wanted it to look green, then you could do that. This is where you can play around with this. Uh, you can also show, say I wanted to show it from the bottom. Uh, this is showing the whole thing. So if I wanted to show it for more of the, the left side, or more of the right side. If I want the uh, white part or the island here to be in the middle so that it's gonna be shown on all screen sizes, then I would choose it so that it's within the guidelines here. So that would be in the middle. So we'd keep that there. Uh, this is the image text. So alt text for um, search engines would go here. You want to tell Google 
what's in the image so that um, it knows for search engines what's in the middle, what's in the image. Um, also for people who are visually impaired, they might be using a screen reader. So the screen reader would read them what was in the picture instead of um, just trying to, just knowing that it's an image. So it's good for SEO to have some kind of description in here. You can also include some of your keywords just um, for search engines. And that would be the same if you had a, um, this is a vector image. So I'm just going to add, add image. I can add any, any image just to show you if I was going to keep that here for some reason. Uh, what you want to do is go into settings here. And you can choose if it's linked to something. I'm changing it to nothing happens if somebody hovers over or if they click on it. This is the information to tell Google what's in the picture. Um, and for screen readers, what's in the picture so that people, visually impaired people can visualize what is in that picture. And the tooltip is when somebody hovers over the picture. Sometimes it'll show um, the name of the picture, like JPEG. You don't want that. You want it to say um, either what's in the picture or what the picture is about that you're a leading home builder. So you always want to have check your settings in any pictures that you have on the site. I guess that's it for now for this session.